Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are going to be talking about a severe weather outbreak that's going to be possible today. Today, we have an enhanced risk for severe weather and also a very large risk for damaging tornadoes. So I'm going to be talking about all of that during this video. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family and social medias. So for today's comment of the day, I want to know if you guys can guess my favorite NBA team. Whichever one gets it right first, I will be selecting to be featured in tomorrow's video. So go ahead and comment down below what you think my favorite NBA team is. Let's get started with the video though. So we're going to be starting out with our severe weather risk. I made a map here uh, on my maps and then I'm going to be showing you the one from the uh, Storm Prediction Center just in case there's some sort of inaccuracy with my map that I made. Uh, but we have a marginal risk here, areas like Dallas and Fort Worth, all the way up into Little Rock. St. Louis is in this. Um, we see areas in northern Mississippi, northern Alabama. We also see Nashville in this one, Louisville. Um, we see other areas in Kentucky as well, like Lexington. And then all the way through Atlanta's in this, into portions of South Carolina, North Carolina, including Charlotte, and then into Virginia and West Virginia as well. So we see a very wide area in our marginal risk, and usually in our marginal risk, we don't see too much in, in terms of severe weather, but it definitely is possible, and I have seen it before. Now we're about to move on, and I'm going to show you guys our slight risk, and then also our enhanced risk regions here. All right, so here's our slight risk region, and you can see that we do still have Little Rock there, and we also have St. Louis and Nashville uh, Louisville and also Lexington as well. So we have a lot of regions here, uh, still in this very big area of slight risk. This actually is a very, very large region for a slight risk here. Uh, and really we have an equal chance for tornadoes, wind and hail all within this yellow region there. And we typically do see severe weather when we have slight risks and sometimes a lot of it. For instance, the ten the Nashville and Tennessee tornado was in a slight risk. So this should not be downplayed. I always think slight risk sounds like it's downplaying it because we do see a lot of severe weather during slight risks, just not as much as enhanced moderates and highs. Now, speaking of enhanced, here's your enhanced region. You can see it's touching portions of Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois there. So we see a lot of different states right in a small portion of this enhanced risk. Uh, we see areas like Louisville in this, uh, as well as Ten or Nashville is right on the line of being included in this. Uh, and then areas there for southeastern Missouri, northeastern Arkansas, and then a very far southern Illinois and Indiana there. Uh, and this is an area where I'm particularly concerned that we will be seeing supercell activity as well as the chance for large damaging tornadoes. Today looks like a big tornado day, unfortunately, uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out, but hopefully we won't see any sort of damaging tornadoes like we have uh, a couple weeks ago. Now, we're about to move on, and I'm going to start showing you guys the maps from the official Storm Prediction Center going over their tornado risks, their wind risk, and their hail risks individually, and just talking about those for a little bit. And then we're going to get into our simulated radar and take it hour by hour. All right, so here's your Storm Prediction Center's uh, categorical outlook, which is basically what I just showed you, but I wanted to show it once again on their map, just in case there's a little bit of differences with mine. I tried to just kind of uh, draw it on because I wanted to show you individually each category there and be able to talk about it, but here's the official one. Um, so you can see Nashville right on the line of the enhanced. We see Bowling Green, Evansville as well, Louisville's right on the line as well. Uh, so we have a lot of different regions there um, in the enhanced risk, which is going to be our most high risk area that we have today. Here's the individual risks for each category here. So first off, we have our wind outlook here, which is going to be three or five percent in the brown area, uh, and that's within 25 miles of a given location. There's five percent chance that there will be damaging wind. And then within our yellow region there, which is our slight risk region, we have 15 percent chance of uh, damaging wind within 25 miles of a given location. Uh, and then here's our hail outlook. So we again have 5% chance of damaging hail within 5% or within 25 miles of a given location. And then in that yellow region, including Little Rock, Jackson, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, as well, and that as well as St. Louis, 
Uh, we see 15% chance of damaging hail within 25 miles of a given location. And then here's that tornado risk, which I'm especially concerned about. We have our 2% chance within 25 miles of a given location there in the green. 5% chance within 25 miles of a given location within the brown. And then in our yellow, we have 10% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given location. And then you see that little black hatched uh, area in the yellow. You can see it's black hatched. That means we're seeing the chance for significant tornadoes, which is... Um, EF2s and above, so we're seeing a chance for significant tornadoes or EF2s or above, once again, um, within that region. So we're looking for potential for major tornadoes there included in these supercells that look to develop there for portions of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, especially Kentucky, and then portions just to the north of Nashville there, as well as a little bit of northeastern Arkansas is included in that. So I am very concerned that we could see some damaging tornadoes uh, throughout the day today. All right, now we're about to move on and take a look at our simulated radar, and we're just going to take it hour by hour and just talk about what time frame we could be looking at storms for different regions. All right, so first things first, this is around now, and you can see we might be dealing with some thunderstorms very, very soon for central Missouri there, as well as showers down through Tennessee and Kentucky. These aren't really our main severe weather threat yet. Uh, let's go ahead and move on, and this one's going to be... I would say approximately by about 2 p.m. And we can see more thunderstorms developing up there for Missouri. Even the St. Louis area, you might be hearing some thunder or getting some heavy rain by this point. And that's making its way into Illinois as well. Uh, we also see some of that developing for the very far western regions of Kentucky by this point. Uh, let's move on once again. And this one... Uh, I would say it's by about dinner time, maybe 5 or 6 p.m. here. And we can see, again, those thunderstorms throughout Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. But that's still not our main area of severe weather risk. Uh, let's look at that CAPE real quick, which is our Convective Available Potential Energy. And I use this tool a lot because it actually is really, really good. Uh, anywhere in those purple shades, those deep purple shades, we're under 1,000. So typically we can see thunderstorms, but not really too much severe weather. And then as we head into some of the magenta colors... Uh, that's where we're at 1,000 to 2,000. And then as it turns more orangish, pinkish there, you can see some of that from Missouri and Arkansas. Uh, that's where we're above 2,000. So that's significant amounts of CAPE. And I expect a lot of severe weather development within the areas with very high CAPE. And those are just going to make their way from west to east. Uh, and they could be very long-lived as there's plenty of energy available for these storms to develop. Now we're about to move on to some of the simulated radar frames where we will start to be able to see these severe thunderstorms develop where these high CAPE amounts are located. All right, so this is going to be by about, I would say, 7 p.m., and we see some of those really deep red storms developing there for portions of southeastern Missouri and then also central Arkansas. That's our supercells. This model is picking up on the development of supercells in those regions. Also to the north in, in uh, Illinois, Indiana, we see thunderstorms developing in Kentucky, but I do not think that those storms will be quite as bad as these ones that develop behind and underneath the low pressure system there that you can see is located near St. Louis by this point. Uh, let's move on, and this one's going to be probably by about 8 or 9 p.m. Uh, and we can see those supercells still around there for southern Missouri, extreme southeastern Missouri, and now for central and northeastern Arkansas. Arkansas has the most by this point, according to this model. Uh, don't pay too much attention to the location. This is just a general timing. Pay more attention to your weather radios, local news stations, and radar if you know how to use radar. Um, now, let's go ahead and move on once more. And this is going to be an hour later, so maybe about 10 p.m. here. Uh, and we see some thunderstorms still around making their way generally into Illinois and Indiana. I think by this point, the low pressure system has moved further north. And I think that by this point, we could be seeing supercells throughout southern Indiana and Illinois, uh, as well as making their way into Kentucky and Tennessee by this point. But still Arkansas, I'm very concerned about the storms located there. Uh, and then this is probably by about 12 a.m., and we see lots of those thunderstorms throughout Kentucky and Tennessee by this point. So still lots and lots of thunderstorms. And these could be in the form of supercells. So again, they could be dangerous and tornado producing. Uh, but this looks to be around the end of our tornadic cells 
as we head towards nighttime. And then there's still thunderstorms around by about 2 a.m. But I think the threat for tornadoes is diminishing by this point, maybe on the back end there, the ones located in northern Tennessee and southern Kentucky are still tornadic by this point. We'll have to just wait and see. Uh, but I think the main risk is for very far western Kentucky and very far western Tennessee, and then eastern Arkansas and eastern Missouri there. And now for today's comment of the day, uh, I asked you guys, what do you think about this uh, hurricane season? Do you think it's going to be above average or below average? And Vermont Real Fan 555 said, I feel like if the La Nina does take effect, which is highly possible, I feel like we will have an above average season. I am going with you direct weather because that's basically what I said in the video, but I'm glad to see that some people agree with what I'm thinking. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social medias, and I will see you guys in the next video.